welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you have already seen by the title, is my beauty room tour and kind of like a makeup collection overview. I'm not going to go through my entire makeup collection. I have got like sort of collection videos already on my channel. But today's video is just going to be a look around the room from all different angles. Um, I haven't got it 100% how I want it yet and there is still a lot I want to do to it and sort of work out what I like. But for now I do think it looks really cute and it's my little like, it's my little safe, comfortable, non-anxious area. I love this room so much and I love coming in here after I've had a crappy day and just like organizing my makeup, playing with makeup and just chilling out. It's just my favorite place to be. So I'm gonna show you guys around the room and I hope you enjoy the video. So this is what you see when you stand in the doorway. It has a beautiful green wall, not. It does cast a green shadow onto my face when I film. So I always have to edit my footage. Um, but yeah, you work with what you've got. Coming in, this is in the doorway. So I've got a horse print that I got from Kmart. I've got a little Aries print up the top. I've got this beautiful print, which I absolutely love. She leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. And then here I've got some photos of my friend Ruby and I. We've got Ollie's bed on the floor because if I'm in here, he needs to be in here too. And then we've got some double wardrobes that are just sort of filled with my things. Then when we come over here, this is the window that I film in front of. And this is my little makeup setup. So I've got the Ikea Malm desk, which is what that desk is there. I've got a office chair that is from Kmart. And then I've got my Ikea Alex 9 drawers just here. So I actually did this marble thing today. I bought some marble contact paper from Kmart and I just laid it over the top and then put my glass, you know, topper back on. And I absolutely love the way that it's come out. I think it looks so, so, so cute. So yeah, this is my little desk. Hello, there's me. Hi. Um, and I've got a print here from Kmart that says shine on and then I've got another print that says what if I fall over oh, darling what if you fly which I love those two there and I've got a beautiful dream capture up there that my sister got me I've got a few pillows on the floor the gold sequin ones I've had for years my mum actually got me those and then this fluffy one I got from the reject shop which is so soft and fluffy and they're on the floor because I'm planning on getting a chair for in here, just like a single kind of chair, but I haven't got one yet, so yeah. Then I have another window here. It's just a really skinny, tall window that goes from the roof to the ground. This little corner, I just keep this table here. I did the same thing with this. I put the marble on it, as you can see. And I've got friends on as per usual because I'm always watching friends. But this little table is actually what I use to sit in the middle of the room. And then I sit sort of here and I set up my mirror and my makeup on this desk so that my camera can actually sit on my makeup desk because otherwise I would be too close to the camera. So I've got my fairy lights strung up along this wall as well that you see in my background. I've just used little like command hooks to string them up. I have a print that says too glam to give a damn, which is so cute. It's from Spotlight. And then I have my adorable little bookcase full of beauty products. So the top shelf has this amazing tray that I got. I think it's been over a year ago I got it. This is quite expensive. I think I paid $70 for it, but as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. And I just, I love this so much. I got these two candelabras from Ikea, as well as the little candles that sit on top. This is actually from Kohl's, came out in the Christmas set. I've got a candle burning. I've got a coca-cola and I've got my salt lamp my Himalayan salt lamp because these are amazing I always have this on even when I'm not in here because they're just amazing they give off amazing vibes okay so coming over to my makeup desk I've got all of the brushes that I sort of use on an everyday basis I've got a little pot with all of my beauty blenders and blender sponges everything is dirty here and I really need to wash it all um, but yeah, 
I've got some Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, which is what I use in the mornings to cleanse my face. I've got my setting sprays, so Urban Decay All Nighter, uh, L'Oreal Infallible, um, and then I've got some MAC Fix Plus. This little one over here is full of pretty much all Sigma brushes. These are like my all-time favorite brushes. They're the Copper Collection, so they also look beautiful as well as do a beautiful job. I do have this big mirror just sitting here because it's nice to do sort of my hair and that kind of thing in this mirror. So then on this side I've just got a box of tissues because you always need tissues when you're doing your makeup. I've got a little thing of q-tips and some tweezers. I've got some brush cleanser by Nude by Nature which is not my favourite to be honest. It doesn't really clean my brushes as well as I'd like. I do deep clean them but that's just like a spot cleaner. I've got another mirror which I do my makeup in because it's nice and close. I've got some cotton rounds to cleanse my face. So I've got this little pot that's full of mainly my Benefit brow products, which I love. Um, I've got a ColourPop brow pencil in here. So that's just an old little candle as well that I cleared out. And then over in the corner, I've just got more brushes. I've got this little mirror that I got from Benefit. It's so cute. I did break it though. I broke my little thingy off this side, but it says on the back, magically transforming brows. And then here, is just my little skincare thing. So I've got Mario Badescu drying lotion, some pawpaw, some jojoba oil, some La Roche-Posay moisturizing products, um, a lip butter. So that is what sits on top of this desk. Now we'll go into... Okay, so up this end of the drawer, I have a few little palettes down the side here. I've got my new Pure Cosmetics highlighting palette, which I am obsessed with to see how beautiful that is. I've got my Naked Basics palette, which is so beaten up, so well loved. Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly palette. And then I've got this new little NYX Beauty School Dropout 101 palette. It's just this little six colored palette and it's right up my alley. It's got all these beautiful warm toned browns and bronzers in it. And then I've got my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which I love as well. Up the back here, I've got a Wet n Wild highlighter, if I can get it out. It's the only problem with this drawer is it doesn't come out very far. Um, so it's got all this room at the back, but you have to literally dig in to get anything. So this is a Wet n Wild. It's technically a bronzer, but it's clearly a highlighter. Um, and it's in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. All the packaging, like, lettering has rubbed off because they've used it so much. And then I've got the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette, which is, like, a prized possession of mine. I love it so much. So it's got the three blushes and two highlights. Then this little basket just has eyeliners and mascaras in here. So I've got a couple of the new Marc Jacobs gel liners, which I've been loving. I've got my go-to mascara at the moment, which is the Maybelline, the Colossal Go Extreme. I've got my eyelash curler. I've got a MAC mascara. There's a bunch of like brown and black eyeliners in there. Pretty boring. Then the next little basket has some face products in it. It's the Benefit Professional Vanishing Powder, which I haven't actually used this yet. I'm needing to. I've got L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. I've got my foundation that I wear when I'm really pale, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 110. Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. This is one of my favorite foundations. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Then I've got my Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Then the products that were in the back, I've got my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce De, Le De Leche, I think is how you say it. And then I've got my Tardis Pro Glow Palette, which you guys know I love. Very awkward filming. I'm very sorry. Then I've got my new favorite bronzer, which is this Pure Cosmetics Glow Together Gradient Shimmer and Matte Bronzer. So that's what it looks like. It's got three strips of matte bronzing shades and then three shimmery bronzing shades. So I generally use the matte ones and then go over the top with the shimmer to give it a nice sheen. Next one over is kind of the same thing. It's just all face products. So 
Um, some more benefit products. This is the Professional Matte Rescue. Uh, the Professional. I've got NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. I've got the new Benefit Professional Pore Minimizing Makeup, which I've been loving for underneath my foundation. I've got Too Faced Born This Way in here. This is an old bourgeois foundation that they discontinued, but I've been using it for work. I did love this and I really wish they didn't discontinue it, but yeah. I've got my MAC concealer palette in the light shade. I've got some powders up along here. So I've got two face powders, one from MAC. This is the mineralized skin finish. Um, and then the Astralis Press Powder, which I've been using a lot. And then I've got two MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. Um, I've got Double Gleam and Beaming Blush. Then up here I've got four different shades of NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which is my all-time favorite. And I've got a Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. So that's everything in this little basket. This section is pretty much a organized mess. So they're two little container things from Kmart. So they have little separator sections. So I just keep different products in these. In the front, I've got some concealers. I've got LA Girl, Maybelline, Urban Decay, Bare Minerals. And then the next one down is all MAC Pro Longwear concealers, which I do have quite a few of in there. And then up the back, I've got a Too Faced concealer, Morphe, and a Maybelline Fit Me powder by Face of Australia. This little one has highlights in it. So I've got Colourpop, I've got Urban Decay, and I've got a little e.l.f. highlight. Then in the front, I've just got a Sigma Beacon of Light Shimmer Cream. So it's like a cream highlight. Two MAC pigments. I've got Tan and I've got Vanilla. I'll push this back. It's sort of all brow products in here. So I've got Anastasia Pomade, Chi Chi Pomade and Colourpop. Then this one's got my MAC Paint Pot in it and my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder Concealer. Then I've just got some brow powders. I've got my Benefit Cabrow. This is the new Pony Cosmetics Zebra Brow Gel, which I actually really, really like. It sticks your brows down. I've got the Model Co More Brows. And then in the back, I've just got some gel liners. I've got my Sigma one. I've got Maybelline. And that's it for this section. Then over here, I've got a few products just like chucked down the side. I've got my um, Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights Highlight Palette, which is so nice. Then I've got eyeshadow palettes. I used this palette today. That's why I've got it out. It's the Sephora Just For You palette. And then I've got my palettes with my Makeup Geek shadows. I do want to get different palettes than the Z palettes because... I'm not happy supporting this brand anymore, to be quite honest. If you don't know what happened, just like Google it. I'm sure there'll be things about it. Got my Morphe and Kathleen Lights. I've got my Inglot face palette, which I love, love, love. It's got blushes, contour, bronzer. It's got a concealer. Um, so all face products. And then just another Z palette with Makeup Geek eyeshadows and... Makeup Geek Contour, and these are all Steeler eyeshadows that I de-potted de out of a little palette that they discontinued a long time ago. And then in the back, these are just all like blushes. So I've got um, some NARS blushes, some MAC blushes, Milani. I've got the Balm. This is a Astralis highlighting powder. Sigma blush, just a bunch of powder products. Over here is the top of my IKEA Alex drawers and I've just got a few products set out. I've got a nice little candle over here. I've got a little kind of makeup holder with all my Maybelline Vivid Matte lipsticks in there. I've got a couple of new Rimmel lipsticks and then this section sort of skincare. So I've got Philosophy, I've got this new pharmacy brand that I'm trying out and then Origins and then in the back I've just got a little Bior or Biore moisturizer that Matt uses. I've got a Isocol which is just pure isopropyl alcohol. I use it to clean like my makeup desk and that kind of thing and it's just handy to have around. And then I've got my Nivea body lotion. I've got some more brushes back here. I've got this little tray, which I love. I got it from, I think I got this from Coles in a Mother's Day collection. So I've got a 
little cool lip balm which opens up like that i've got some of the new astralis velour lips in there i've got a couple of pharmacy lip lip bloom products do astralis products here this is the liquid strobe that i've been using a lot and the matchmaker shade adjusting drops in the lightning I've got a couple of crystals there and then I've got this little tart palette that Casey gave me looks like that it's really cute and I actually really like it it's called the double duty double duty booty oh my god double duty beauty palette and then this is another thing Casey gave me it's a Morphe Morphe contouring palette which I haven't actually used yet and that's pretty much everything that I keep up here. For the drawers, I'm just going to do a quick skim through because it's too much to show you every single product. But this top drawer is pretty much all eyeshadow palettes. So I've got a Too Faced Sweet Peach, Too Faced Totally Cute palette, which Casey also gave me. That girl literally looks after me so well. I've got a Steela palette, a Lorac Pro palette, Sigma Nightlife. I've got this new little Bourjois palette. I've got a couple of these small Morphe palettes, BH Cosmetics and Shan XO. Then up the back, I've got a couple of Morphe palettes in there. My Lorac Mega Pro, BH Cosmetics. This one's the Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics palette. And then the Urban Decay Vice 4 or 5 palette. I forget which one which has amazing, amazing packaging. Second draw down is all eyelashes. So I've got a heap of the Vegas Ney and Eye Lure lashes because you guys know the Vegas Ney Shining Star are my favorites. I need to get more Grand Glamours because I love those ones too. So this is actually a medication holder and I bought it to store some eyelashes that are loose. So I just label what they are so I know what they are. Um, and then these all actually pop out and yeah they just store your eyelashes and it's a super super cool idea it cuts down on packaging although i do still keep a lot of the packaging as you can see i've got some socialized lashes down here some house of lashes i've got a really old pair of velour lashes which i should throw out because i don't wear mink i've got a heap of model rock lashes up the back here that i haven't used yet some ardell ones up here and then I have this little box down the front that holds like my lash glues, um, my lash scissors, and it has some little mascara thingies in there too. The third drawer is lip products, which I desperately need to go through because it's very, very unorganized. But I've just got a heap of um, drugstore lipsticks up the back here. This is sort of lip glosses and random lip products. Yeah, this whole drawer is pretty random. I do have my little uh, lipstick palette that I made myself. I bought this Vuce empty palette and depotted a whole heap of lipsticks and put them all into here. And obviously, I did write on the back what they were, but a lot of them are rubbing off. And I've just got some makeup remover wipes in here and a little beauty blender spray. This drawer is much more organized. This is um, like a heap of single eyeshadows and pigments down the front. Some Makeup Geek pigments. I've got a MAC pressed pigment. I've got a couple of makeup store glitters and I've got a heap of these L'Oreal Color Infallible pressed pressed eyeshadows. I've got some more gel eyeliners. I've got a couple of Chi Chi palettes. Then I've just got a heap of jumbo eye pencils and eyeliners. I've got some more eyeliners, some brow products. Um, I've got a new Anastasia dip brow for when mine runs out. Then all of these are Maybelline color tattoos. And then I've got some pigments down in the front, which you guys can't really see. But these ones are MAC. Um, I've got some glitters. I've got some pigments. And then up in the back, I've got some mascaras, which I haven't opened or used yet, so they're like spare. Next drawer, I have some random things. This is my Tarte Blush Palette, which I am obsessed with. I use this all the time. All my ColourPop Single Eyeshadows. Um, that's just a random mix roll-on eyeshadow. I've got a little glitter in here. Then down this side here, these are all Sigma um, pigments that I've got. I've got my NARS Laguna shoved in there. 
I've got a NARS Albatross highlighter. And then I've got my glitters from Mayron in here as well. They are beautiful. That's a copper one. Hopefully it's showing up nicely. Then as you move back, I've got two Tanya Burr palettes. I've got some face palettes. I've got mainly highlighters. So two Gerard ones, Becca, MAC highlight. Um, and then I've got some bronzers. So I've got my Too Faced, uh, what's this called? Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer Benefit Hula, which I desperately need a new one because look at that. I am so nearly done with that. Mary Luminizer. And then if you can see right up in the back, I've just got like some bronzing palettes and that kind of thing. I've got my NARS Stephen Klein palette. I've got Too Faced Coco Contour. So that's pretty much what's in this drawer. It's just mainly like face palettes, highlights, and single eyeshadows from ColourPop and pigments. Next drawer down is all my foundations and face products. So as you can see, I've got like a ridiculous amount of foundation in this drawer as well as my other drawer. So yeah, I've got a mixture of drugstore and high-end. So I've got everything from, you know, Maybelline and Rimmel to Dior to NARS to Revlon, Cogendo, La Masca. I've just got a lot of foundations. This one I am doing a first impressions on very soon. This is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. I've got the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, which I need to see if Matt wants because I really don't like it as a primer to be honest. I just never found it worked. I've got my EX1 Invisiwear foundations which I love. Then I've got just a heap of concealers in here. So Too Faced, Maybelline, Nude Sticks, Skin Glossing Pencil, some more MAC Pro Longwears but in darker shades for my freelancing work. Got a Cryolan Concealer Wheel. And then up the back I've got some powder foundations. Um, so I've got Nude by Nature, I've got a L'Oreal one, I've got in here some blushes, so I've got one from The Balm, I've got a couple of NYX ones, e.l.f. palette, some Milani, so that is that drawer. Next drawer down is kind of random, I've got some powders and stuff down here, so Makeup Forever one, I've got a Benefit one that I don't even know if they make anymore, um, I've got another Astralis powder, I've got a Gerard Cosmetics setting spray. I've got another Z palette that's empty. This is just a small one. I've got some palettes here. This is a contouring palette. Contouring palette. I've got my BH Cosmetics like eyeshadow palette. So I've got the Galaxy Chic one, the Eyes on the 60s one, and Take Me to Brazil. And then I've got this super old Benefit thing that they brought out years ago. But it does have Benefit Hula in it, so I do keep it for that reason to use that. And then in the back, I've got a heap of these Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. So they're like a cream eyeshadow with a glitter. And I don't know if they still make these because they marked them all down and I really like them. So hopefully they do still make them. And I've got some NYX Jumbo Pencils and that's about it in that drawer. Next one down is literally empty, so I'm barely going to show you. I've got a box full of Mecca samples that I've gotten. I've got a BH Cosmetics face palette. I've got the new NYX Beauty School Dropout palette, which I love. I've got a pair of scissors. I've got a, another Z palette with some more Makeup Geek shadows that I don't actually reach for that much. Um, then I've got another one of these thingies with all the NYX single eyeshadows that I got in their um, advent calendar. And then I've just got some like empty packaging in the back there. And then the very bottom drawer is the same kind of deal. It's just a heap of random stuff. I've got some empty packaging. I've got some brushes in here that are like oddly shaped or too big to go in my brush holders, like this Eco Tools one. Um, I know this is not in focus, so I do apologize. And then I've just got some backup products. So I've got another Maybelline um, Master Conceal. I've got another Makeup Geek Shadow that I use all the time. And yeah, just this drawer is really boring. Then moving back over to this bookcase I showed you guys before. Um, so this is the second shelf. So I've got a big candle. I've got a picture of Matt and I. I've got the Benefit Professional Wipeout Masks. Um, I've just got some empty nude sticks packaging on here. And then this is like a heap of lip products. So I've got 
all my NYX soft matte lip creams up here, my Tarte lip paints and lip pencils. And then these are all like my liquid lipsticks in here. So it's just random lip product. Then the next shelf, I've got a lip stick holder from By Allegory. So I've got all my ColourPop lippy sticks. Well, not all of them, but I've got ColourPop lippy sticks, lippy pencils, and then I've got just a heap of lip pencils in the back. Then I've got this little rose quartz tree that lives up here. Um, this lip holder has all my Maybelline matte lipsticks, which I really, really like. I'm wearing the intro Mesmerizing Magenta. And then I've just got some random lipsticks. I've got some Gerard Cosmetics and I've got some Stila liquid lipsticks. Then I've got three little Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks that sit here. Then this one here is full of Gerard Hydra Mattes and also two ColourPop lippy sticks and three of the Gerard Cosmetics, what are these called? Supreme Lip Creams, so those sleep in that. And then up here, this little thing is just full of NYX butter glosses. Then this one is full of my MAC lipsticks. Um, then I've got like a dose of colors, Urban Decay, um, I've got a YSL lipstick that I never use, and I paid a ridiculous amount for it. I've got some Rimmel, some Milani, I've got Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks in the back, which I love, and then two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, which I never use. Then this is just a little candle holder. I've got a money box thing that my mum got me for Christmas. I didn't realise that my head was in that. And then these are my business cards that I take to events and, you know, use for my YouTube. And I'm not really going to show you the bottom shelf much because there's nothing on it. I've just got a B and then I've got some candle holder. I've got this cute little bowl that I bought because it was cute. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty much nothing down there. So that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed looking into my beauty room. I was going to show you inside my wardrobe, but I feel like this video was already way too long and pretty much all that's in there is spare products, nail polishes and tanning products kind of thing. And then just a heap of bags and like stuff like that. So yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, I congratulate you because it is probably very, very long. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Shh.